In this video, I'll be doing the Android Saga, also known as Cell Saga. To get through the tough fights, I searched and found a very effective TP farm I'll be showing you in this video. As a little change, I only cut a bit out of the harder fights and left the final fight totally uncut. So let me know how you like this little change. Without further ado, let's get into it. I started off by feeding the cows and killing some of them for the first time ever since I got them. After cooking almost 3 stacks of beef, I traveled to Namek to collect medical moss and found Freezer Spaceship, which has a med pot inside, which I wanted to build in a base. As I continued my journey, I even found Master Guru, who had nothing of use for me. So I collected a couple more medical moss before returning to Earth. At home, I crafted more buckets and made medical liquid buckets with the help of the medical moss. Then I wanted to build a shadow dummy farm with it, but as I tried it, I soon learned that it wouldn't work like I wanted to. So I drove back to Kami's lookout and entered the hyperbolic chamber. You could just punch your shadow dummy, but that isn't as effective as the method I saw on YouTube. For this method, you need to create a barrage attack, fly in the sky, drop your potential to 5%, and then you can spam the barrage attack, which now does less damage because you're on 5% on the shadow dummy, because the shadow dummy can fly. As you can see, this method works quite well, especially when you continually level your mind. I continued doing this to first max out all of my skills until I randomly got kicked out of the chamber because I was in there for too long. In the 20 minutes I had to wait, I did some shadow boxing and started the android saga by fighting 9 freezer soldiers again. And again, they beat me pretty good and even destroyed some of the area with their key attacks so when i finally finished all of them i went home grabbed my dirt and fixed some holes in the area and returned to the hyperbolic chamber i made sure to stay in super saiyan to master the phone as this boosts all kind of things like damage key cost and so on this footage is in times 20 by the way and this is the soundscape up gaining around 80k TP with one or two shadow dummies. After that session, I transformed into Super Saiyan again and summoned King Cold and Mecha Freezer. King Cold was my first target because Mecha Freezer got stuck, and after finishing King Cold, I loaded a Spirit Bomb, followed by a Kamehameha. In this fight, I noticed my lack of key, but still managed to kill Freezer. After that, Kami wanted to talk to me about something that would follow, which should be more terrible than Freezer. After that, I returned to the hyperbolic chamber, this time ending up with 160,000 training points. I leveled strength and will to 350, dex and spirit to 250, con to 370 and mine to 900. After that, I fought Android 19 and Dr. Jiro, who is also known as Android 20 and the genius behind the creation of the androids. I went to the chamber again, ending up with almost 100k and I decided to learn the key sense skill. This allows you to see the entity's alignment, see how much damage you do and lock onto enemies as well. With this I traveled to a nearby plains biome fighting Android 18, who was the easiest fight in the whole saga. After her defeat we faced Cell but transformed into his second form in fight, but I still was able to beat him. For the next fight I had to move to a dirty stony biome, and then I could fight Android 16 and 17.
with 17 defeat, Sel was able to achieve his perfect form, making me struggle quite a lot. But other than Freezer, Cell wasn't defeated after this. I first had to kill seven of his Cell Juniors. Before achieving our power up and turning into Super Saiyan 2. Now I would be able to finish off Cell. He wouldn't die easily though and put up the hardest fight yet. With a lot of close calls, I was able to kill him and bring peace once again. With the now finished Android Saga, I had 43 levels, so I enchanted a book. After that, I traveled to Planet Vegeta, as it was the last planet missing. I flew around a bit and fought some Saiyans who all got one shot, but other than that, I don't think there's anything to do besides maybe finding some ores. So I traveled back to Earth and started building the medical pot I wanted. I punched a hole in the wall between the anvil and the crafting table, filled it with basic wall stone and put a close stone in the ceiling. For the doors I had to go in creative as you can't craft them as far as I know and even if you could you need game bone to break them when you misclick like I did. This hurts more than breaking glass, trust me. Then I had to fill it with some medical liquid and done was my own medical pot. I started searching the dragon boards again, finding the last one basically in my backyard. I placed the seven dragon boards in the usual age form and summoned Shenron. This time I wished for the Kachin shards again, because my next goal is crafting the Z-Sword, which needs a total of 6 Kachin shards. With the two I had, I was only able to make two Brave Sword blades, which would later be combined with three Kachin shards to make the Z-Sword blade. That was it with this video. Thank you for watching until the end and remember to let me know in the comments what you think of the less and the uncut fights. I know this part had a lot less fights in it than the other two, but as the game gets increasingly harder, it takes longer to progress. I hope you still enjoyed the video and if you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one, Dear Tarnished.